Here we go, found the Leather Museum right next to Warsaw College. Do, 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 do. Oh. Not picked a very good day for it, but uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it'd kick you, kick your ass, wouldn't he? <laughs> Definitely found uh, a nice comfy seat though. You can always count on a fisherman's friend. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> that is smoother than my bum. <laughs> He's held in here. What's this? What do you think it was, Stephen? A pig. A pig. <laughs> Does that look like a pig to you? What do you say, George? Crocodile. Or alligator. I think it might be an alligator and a crocodile rather than a pig. <laughs> so you want me to hold it up for you? Yeah. You said this was a pig. It's an alligator. It's an alligator. Right from Australia. Is that nice and comfy? What's it like without the uh, saddle on it? Oh, it's stuck on. How's that, Stephen? That's okay? Yeah, except for if the horn stops from scoring. You go back and you go, oh, my cock. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah, look. She won. She won. She won. Oh, Warsaw immortalised in the leather museum. Fantastic. Okay. Did you know the likes of Burberry, Marlborough? Hey. We're also can be proud of the fact that they locally made products are sold in the shops of Bond Street and around the globe. Is that the Queen? They even get the Queen on here. Queen. The additional exhibition here is about the Spanish flu. 500 million infected worldwide between 1918 and 1920. Yeah. Truly global pandemic. About that. 50,000 deaths in Canada, 675,000 in the US. 400,000 in France, 260,000 in Spain, 250,000 deaths in the UK, 18 million in India, 1.5 million in Indonesia, 390,000 in Japan. <laughs> Brings it all into context with the coronavirus. Germ killing throat tablet. <laughs> Suck at least four or five a day. Standard work. Influenza for former mint. We possess the best means of preventing the infected process, process which, if neglected, may lead to serious complications. What made it so terrifying was the shocking symptoms many patients suffered and the speed with which it progressed. Those healthy at breakfast could be dead by evening. 
in any case in which the facial colour is frankly red and the patient might not appear ill if it were not for the drooping of the upper eyelids half closed appearance pronounced degree of heliotrope cyanosis the patient is not in physical distress but the prognosis the prognosis is almost helpless helpless even another type of the cyanosis in which colour of the lips and ears arrests attention in contrast to the relative pallor of the face the patient may yet live for 12 hours or more gloomy neck it's a bit serious isn't it an infectious legacy following the spanish flu now monuments were erected to the uk's flu dead however the pandemic did make a strong impression on individuals and families Clue number six. The next location is where you will find a famous woman who wrote that the previous town's comforter or anything else through the city streets. So, so somebody rode without a saddle or anything else. On horseback. She's got very, very long hair. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. <laughs> Not quite Rapunzel, George. Okay, let's go and have a look. We need to head back to the station, so let's head back to the station and see whether we can uh, think of another clue. Currently. No. There is. City. City streets. How many cities do you know in the Midlands? It's a team. It's a team. Warsaw beat 3 2 twice last season. Northampton. We're going to Northampton. No. It's a team. Warsaw beat twice 3 2. I think we beat them twice 3 2. I think it was last season anyway. And do you remember when they sang um, 2 0 and you messed it up? Now, who, who sang that to Warsaw? Who sang that to Warsaw? They drew level. We were 2 0 up, they drew level, and then Warsaw laughed when we beat them. Okay, the, uh, where I've done a lot of my work. Where have I done a lot of my work, George? Coventry. Coventry. We're going to Coventry. Next up, Coventry. Is that even in the West Midlands? Is that even in the West Midlands? What are you talking about? Where do you think? Miles away. <laughs> That's why we're going on a train. Come on then, let's go. Well, we've arrived in sunny Coventry. And it's raining. Now we're trying to find where the super lady is immortalised in bronze. Broad gate is what we're looking for. I think we might have found the lady we're looking for. The lady is in fact Lady Godiva. Have you heard of that before? No. No. Lady Godiva. Better. She rode forth, clothed on with chastity, the deep air listened round her as she rode, and all the low wind hardly breathed for fear. Well, it's no sense whatsoever. <laughs> she was, like, no sense. The inscription on the front, self-sacrifice. Godiva. Then she rode back, clothed on with chastity. She took the tax away and built herself an everlasting name. Oh, Tennyson. Right then, now, next on our list is to find somewhere nice and cosy for something to eat. Maybe the cosy club. Oh, <laughs> Maybe the cosy club. I didn't realise it was right next to you. But I mean, that's good. 
Okay, happy days, Cowsey Club we come. Lovely quality place, the Cozy Club in Coventry. Our final stop before heading back to sunny Sedgley.